So here we are again with a blank file and this time we're going to use a different tool. So obviously you can do some quite interesting things. If you click on here, obviously we've got, we, they've got their own cog in here, but if you look at things like this triangle, let's draw out a triangle, you could do similar things that we did with the last, with the circle, with the triangle. So let's, let's see if we can't make something a bit more sawtoothed here. So we're just combining two shapes this time, so we can turn this one around. And we'll make it a bit smaller, I think. And we could oh, I'd bring this to the front, I think, that'd be better. So we can see what we're doing. Well, let's, let's actually let's expand this. So I'm going to copy that. And so again, we can use use that cutout tool like that, and now we made a complex shape. So um, you know, very easy to do. But the pen tool is is um, a much more nuanced tool. So what what we'll do is I'll show you how um, we kind of created that car. So you just have to think in corners to start off with. So I'm going to map out, and the idea is to use as few of these points as possible to start with. So if I think about a car, it's got, let's click on here. Uh, we click and it, can, it just draws like a piece of string to each, each turning point. So I'm gonna, this is the underside of the car. So this is the, from the rear of the car. Click here, then I'm gonna make a wheel well. And can you see how this blue line says, oh, you're in line now. So I'm just gonna draw along here, just kind of, yes, they're all in a straight line, that's good. And I want my wheel well to be the same height as the front, as the rear. There we go. And I think my car is going to have a bit of a um, raked forward bonnet. Uh, we'll come up to where I think the windscreen is going to be. And let's, I think, shall we? Yeah, we'll do this today, I think. Let's make an open top racer, shall we? So we'll have something going all the way back to here. And we'll have a scoop down to here and it's pretty chunky I mean that's hard to believe that that's a car but what we can do is with the pen tool still clicked we can double click on the line and now you see a whole bunch of dots now these dots allow us to make some quite subtle changes the dots that aren't collected to the lines allow us to make radiuses so we can just click on this one here for example and it will just smooth off the underside here and start making our car look just a little bit more sportsman-like, let's say. And what I could do here, if I think, oh, it actually still looks pretty chunky, what I can do is I can actually start moving the points around. It's beginning to look a bit like a, I don't quite know what really, it's not very good. Um, and so we can drag this around and start making our car look a bit more sportsman-like, sporty, I guess. That's perhaps it's looking a bit better. So now we can just use those vectors. We can always move those around a bit later later on. We might put this one here like this to make that A pillar look a bit more exciting. A bit of a curve here, I think. Um, yeah, that'll do. And pull this perhaps this way a little bit and you'll see why in a minute. And we might pull that down, a bit more of a rake on it. And so now, we can click on other points like this one here. I want to make this a more of a rounded arch. So if I double click, we turn that into a pin and these pins are stretchable. So we can now twist them and pull them to make the wheel arch look the way we want it to be. So it might be slightly raked forward, giving impression of movement. And again, same with this one. Might want to give it a bit of a, a forward rake. That's okay. Um, and actually what I think I might do is I might just lower this. This car needs to be a lot, a lot slimmer, I think. Let's pull this one down here. Uh, now we're getting somewhere. There we go. So we've got a we've got the hap, the hap, you know car beginning to happen here. We might actually shorten this up. There we go. 
All right, this is pretty thick through here as well. So I might move this down here and then move this one down here as well. Okay, so now I'm just fiddling with my car. So let's add some details to this, shall we? So what I'm gonna do now is let's just fill it with color. So at the moment it's blue, but I can also add a gradient to this. So over here I can click on a linear gradient or radial, in this case we'll do linear, and it goes straight back to black. So I'm gonna change this, and it t t changes the colors, the white and the black here. So I want to make this a red car. Again, so let's make a nice light color. So the sun's coming from the top and click on the black and let's make the black a nice, a nice deep red. Click this up to here. And they need to have a fairly decent range in this. So when, you, when you're happy with that, you can change. And doing this, stuff like this, actually helps give the impression that the, the car has got some kind of curved or rounded shape to it. So that's giving us a bit more of a definition. And then what we can do now is let's add some, let's add a windshield to this, shall we? This, this is gonna be an open top car. And we can embellish this in all kinds of ways in a moment, but let's just add a windshield. So I'm going to add a windshield here and I want my windshield to be up to here and come back to here. So there's, there is my windshield. Again, double click on this. And this time I want to sort of put up a bit of a curve on here on the windshield. So I'm gonna just drag this point out here and I'm going to double click and I'm going to stretch this to make it look, I might move it a bit further up actually. There we go. And I might curve on this, that's looking good. Okay, so now I need to make that look like glass. So I'm going to click on here and I, I tend to use a light, a light blue like this all the way over here to make it look like glass. And I think that's, that's looking okay. So I just want to zoom in a little bit here because I think that the corner here needs some attention and see how it doesn't quite fit the body. So again, double click and we can just pull this down here. I think you definitely see here it doesn't fit the body at all. And in fact, what we might do is we might have a play around with the top of this up here. So this one, we'll click on this one here. And I think what I might do is I might add another point in here and just start to play with this. squeeze that down a bit here we go that's better and so now we've got a car that looks a bit more like a um, solid piece of metal here zoom out so we've begun we're beginning to get a bit of a car and you obviously you can embellish that but hopefully you can see how you can use the um, the pen tool to make complex shapes and use the uh, gradient tool to actually fill in so let's just make a quick wheel here for the car so it doesn't matter what size you choose for your wheel, copy that. And one's obviously going to be black for the rubber. So it will come down here, nice dark gray. And let's give this some flash wheels. So we'll make this one kind of a silvery color. And obviously you could, you could design um, a pattern in the center of this like I showed you before on the previous tutorials. Um, should we make these thin wall tires? It's gonna look a bit more racy yet. And again, we can put these together. So right click, align, middle. There we go. And I'll just copy this one. And we'll make a little hub in the center. And you could make that flash if you wanted to. I'll give that a different, different color gray down to here like this again it's only to give an impression this is going to be a very tiny picture you might be using it in a game or something like that so I'm going to just center everything up again there we go and then 
shortcut for group is Control or Command G. I'll do it with a shortcut here. And so now I can scale this. Let's make it, let's make sure it's linked. Yes, let's make it 50 pixels. There we go. No, it's probably too small. 75. There we go. And now we can put the car in. The car's got. And what we can do, of course, is align them like that. And of course, wheels don't stick outside the car like that. So what we can do is the use the tool here to send it to the background. There we go. So it's sent to back, so it needs to be sitting kind of in here like that. It's making the car look better. And the same thing here. Oops. Same with this one. Why is it not going to the back? There we go, too far up. So, there we go. And so now we've made a very simple little sports car that you could use. Obviously, I, you, could make, put, you could put seats in here, all that kind of stuff. In fact, why don't we do that? Let's put a quick seat in here. So we need to put a, a little raked back seat. sure that's working but you get the idea anyway that's using the pen tool to create more complex shapes in vector